Let it go. All the boots are like whoa. Thing I go. Cause it over. I see. I see. And you're the better now, girl. So we got an email from Uline that gives us free stuff. They said it's not free. <laughs> they said it's not free. <laughs> they said thank you for your order. It is on hold as further information is required by our pay department to ship the order. Please contact us immediately to resolve this matter. Your order will be on hold for seven days. We hope to hear from you at your earliest convenience. So I called them to find out what's going on and I found out a couple of good things. Our limit is 750. I also found out that we can raise the number if we have multiple trade lines on Dun & Bradstreet. Three, that means that they reported to Dun & Bradstreet and we're paying it off, which probably means that our score is gonna be pretty good. Those are the good things. So now the not so good things will be, we can't get any of the stuff in that order until we pay off the previous balance, which is currently at 900. And then we also have to pay $900 to get any of that stuff. So that's not happening. So I just called back Uline to remove some packages from the order. They were like, hey, yeah, we're we'll releasing packages now. And I'm like, like, when you said release, like, I gotta pay for it? Like, nah, with net 30, you'll be fine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> sure, uh, I'll take everything. Just send it over. Send it over the free stuff. I love the free stuff. Send some more free stuff. It's not free. I love me something free because that's crazy. That I don't know if I recorded at all today. I've been trying to not record when I first wake up because I feel like I talk really slow. I'll be like, I am about to do a bajillion. It's just mad slow. I've been editing all morning. I have candles to make today. We got an Etsy order, so I have to send that out before the post office closes. So right now I'm doing the bookkeeping for last week. Yo, this not fire though. This not fire. Look at this. Look at this. I can just move it over here and be like, boom. I go if I want to put it up higher, put it up here. I can bring it closer to me like this. Amazing. Okay, it's four o'clock, so I'm gonna head to the post office to drop off this package before it closes, and then I'm gonna come back inside and keep editing. Hey. Poppin' like I ain't post to Watch out for the people that ain't close to Speak a little something you could toast to I ain't tryna hear about what you won't do Moving like I mean to Hit the ground running like the rain do So I'm about to head to the post office After that I'm gonna go to Walgreens Cause I need a new deodorant And I'm also gonna spray paint a picture frame while I'm outside Oh yeah, and I'm cutting it real close because the post office closes at five, and right now it's 4:50. Oh, now they know us. See, it's funny how my pockets out of shape, but I fit for the flex. Clear the phone call, hit my chick with a text. Parlay through the bird with my drip from the checks. Save a couple hundred by your with the rest. I prefer my reefer with Henny and Coke. Please don't be. Oh, this is perfect. Oh shit. I'm on Facetime with you, and I'm recording in landscape on the other phone. Most for the clout Did what I said so they know what I'm about Show up and act up and back to the crib It's been a very slow day for me video wise So far I was able to do the Google Sheet So I got the inventory done I bought some more fragrance oil I'm about to go get some packages Melissa's on the roof right now I worked on the website. I think that was today. I woke up at like three in the morning. So I kind of updated the website and I posted some stories on the Instagram. So I like to have the winners and I'll record them when they win. And I feel like when they have some fun reactions, I post that on the story. <laughs> Bro, I was about to go downstairs to get the packages. You saw the email? What email? Bro, that shit fire. What email? It's a fire email. Hold on. Artisan please. Artisan please. All right, so you gotta read it. You gotta read it for everybody. Hi there. 
We are pleased to offer you a four-month membership for the upcoming season at Artists and Fleas Williamsburg. You have been selected because we feel your brand stands out with the high quality products that our customers expect and return to buy again. As a member, your brand will have the same space in the market throughout the membership period, a highlight on the Artists of Fleas website, first priority for marketing and publicity opportunities, and access to workshops and special events. That's crazy. Both the elevators are, well, three of them are delayed, so that took forever to get down here. I also forgot to say, I spoke with a real estate agent today because we got that offer on the house, so I signed a contract, and hopefully we get some money back. We put that towards the candles, and if we don't, at least it'll pay down the debt that we have so that we can keep more money from the candles. This is the fake holy grail right here. And honestly, this one has been taking mad long. I feel like I ordered two, and I'm hoping that maybe one of them is on its way still. <laughs> Melissa has looked up the insurance because they said to be there for four months, we need to have insurance. So they have an insurance policy that they suggested in the policy. Uh huh. So some examples are sporting goods and equipment, tattoo artists, children's furniture, I thought it was, I thought it was just said children. <laughs> uh, children's <laughs> furniture, you know, candles included, liquid fuel gel or, mac or wax melts are excluded. But they seem to have like a referral to the candle insurance that we could use. So I just decided that I'll just look into this later. By the time they want this back, I should hopefully have found an uh, insurance policy. I'm gonna check the Facebook groups because they <laughs> have all the information. One of my side quests for this year is to understand Google Analytics. So I'm gonna be watching videos all the time to learn. I might even get a book. If you are a brand new user, you'll need to set up a Google Analytics for account to check your web pages with your Google Analytics it's management ID. It's finished? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> much, much, much later. So I'm up, I've been sleeping. I'm trying to edit this video, like get it started. It's at six hours. Good morning. It is Tuesday, February 31st. It's gonna be a fun day. I guess. She's talking about the live we're gonna do on our other YouTube channel, The Bamboo Project. So we're gonna do the podcast first and then we're gonna do the live later in the day. And today's gonna be a lot of candle making for Melissa which means I'm gonna be prepping candles. So this morning I've been working on the instruction manual for the craft fair. It's coming along pretty well. I'm gonna show y'all some of what we have so far. So shout out to Canva, cause they really hold it down. I was gonna use uh, Google Sheets files or whatever. No, I'm using Canva for it. So pretty much we got six pages so far. So these are the pages. This is the script. This is, you know, just some notes to remember, things to do when you're checking out and prepping bags. That's what I got so far. I can't wait till this is finished. The podcast is done. You know what that means? It's time to make some candles. I'm, I'm just gonna make as much as I can until probably 3.30. That's when I'm gonna stop and try to start setting up the live. I'm about to start prepping the candles. Melissa is over there getting ready to make maybe 300 candles right now. We have about three hours until the live, so we're just gonna make as many as we can until then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, even try to, nobody can match you. Don't you hit, don't you for life. Sexy mind and body, you already got me now. Loving you madly. Okay, so I have all of the top labels on of these here. So next thing I have to do is take the QR codes and put those on the rest of these. Okay, so we ran out of wick holders. They go inside here. So I ordered them last week, probably. It's Amazon. It's coming like two days. And then they had said to me yesterday that they weren't gonna come in. They don't know when it's gonna come in. And then I saw today that's alpha delivery. So hopefully those come in. I gotta get the warning labels on the back of these. So then I'm gonna try and prep whatever I can. Body, she know even trying, she got it. I'll be here beside you. Anything I got you. You know play. All you do is shut down the wrong way. Looking dangerous like a gun play. 
So it's 2.39. It's in the middle of most people's work day. Donovan had brought up Vivi and Stefan, so I decided it would be a perfect time to email them. Well, Donovan asked me if I emailed them, so yeah. I gave them an update. I told them how much we made for the month of January, which is almost $6,000. Well, I only told them how much we made at fairs, which is almost $6,000. If we add how much we made on Etsy, we definitely hit $6,000. I also told them about the membership that we were offered at Artisan Fleas. I told them we only sold on weekends. So I, sir, the, that we're booked from the 4th to the 12th, which is not only weekends, you get what I'm saying? I also told them that we need more inventory. We <laughs> still don't have enough money for the inventory to do the, the to do that fair. So I want Melissa to see the updated website and see if she has any opinions on it, what she thinks. Like okay. Okay, 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 okay. Fire. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, okay. I absolutely, I just, I love it. I love everything about this. I'm proud to say this is our website. <laughs> and it's like so interactive. It's like, oh, look at the people. So Melissa was just looking at the analytics on YouTube and she said in the last hour, the our first video that we posted got 29 views in the last hour. In the last two days, it got 63 views. So get, think about how crazy that is, right? So then she goes to, uh oh, what does that mean? Someone just left a comma on the video. That's what's it, bruh. This is real time live coming to you here. <laughs> so now she just pulled up the overview. Now if you know YouTube, look at this. Look what the, <laughs> do you see what that is? That is like steady, steady, steady. That is a straight line up. That's exponential. That's mm -hmm. a straight line. That, you, that means YouTube found it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does the comment say? Very valid question. How did y'all master the craft and begin selling within three months? What's the secret, fam? <laughs> I was unemployed. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to go pick up some packages, mostly the bell. I really want to see the new bell. And I was thinking about it. It would be good to have two bells at one table. I haven't told Melissa this yet because moving the bell back and forth is really annoying and people who win are like, where's the bell? And then someone else is ringing it over there. And then also I feel like vendor hairs even more because they have two bells. And be like, ring a ling a ling, ring a ling a ling a ling a ling, ring a ling a ling. So there was no packages at the front desk, which is kind of sad because I wanted to get multiple packages. But I feel like at least there should be one down here. I hope. I would hope I did not come down here for no reason. Is this, is this, this might be the bell. Did you get the other coat? What other coat? There's another coat that came. Wait, I was downstairs? Yeah. Oh my God. I thought you took my phone. I thought I, thought I had no phone this whole time. I, Did you take my phone? I thought you- Why you ain't FaceTime me? You ain't do nothing? There's three phones. I we got I five have... phones in the house. You can FaceTime me your laptop. We got three iPads. Two MacBooks, four I iPads. Think, I didn't think that. Here's the bell. Very little because of that old bell. I feel like. Ooh, it's very winterish though, that's for sure. This is way more winter than the other one. I'm gonna ring it for the first time. That's a weak ass. So, what I was gonna say before Melissa decided to tell me another package. So, first of all, I didn't tell you what happened because the phone wasn't even on. I'm down to get another package. Melissa gets a notification that we have another package. You know what she does? <laughs> Nothing. She does absolutely nothing. I she thought... waits until I come out the house and goes, hey, did you get the other pack that came to my phone? <laughs> like, no, Melissa. No, I did not get the other pack Bruh, that came to your phone. I don't you care. you had my phone. No one you asked me for my phone before you left and you did not hand it back to me. See, she said, see, this is what happened. This is called, Are you serious, this is, sir? This is gaslighting. Melissa did not have the phone. She, it was on the bed. That's not true because you asked me for my phone. I did not I ask you for your phone. You did. Wow. I'm not even gonna, I don't argue with crazy people. I realize that you're no longer arguing with people who are crazy. I'm so, crazy. yes, you are. What happened what was, crazy but that's what a crazy person would say. <laughs> so, you as I was saying, crazy no, because I know you're crazy. I'm not arguing with you. So, as I was saying, I was on Indeed, bruh. Have you ever seen a price on Indeed? Price for what? Exactly. So, I'm like, oh, I'm curious how much it would cost to hire somebody from Indeed. So I go on there to see what the price, I didn't even go, not even for that, honestly. I just want to see what the people uh, resumes look like. $120 a month for Indeed. You only get 30 contacts per month. Oh, I'll definitely just go on Facebook. This is the bell. 
that I, we had from before. Here's a new one. You got it. They look nice though. So there is actually no package because they just resent the same code that I already got. Now, you know what the real problem is? Is yesterday I asked Melissa if she had any codes on her phone. You know what she told me? No, I don't have any codes on my phone. Why did you ask me? You know why it doesn't matter? Because it you know why it doesn't matter? Because the code was from Sunday. <laughs> So you never checked it from Sunday, so they get you another one on Saturday and sent you a third one today. Did you get it? That's the damn bells <laughs> that we're going to send back because they're not even loud enough. Uh, I didn't know that. So we got another comment on the video. What does this one say? This is fantastic. You guys are doing great, and I know you will have an awesome year. Ooh, thank you. Who's that? This is Anastasia. I don't know if I said her last name. Does that sound French? We are on live right now for the weekly vlog. We are about to do the giveaway for this week. Melissa is going to screen record this so we can put that online. And we're going to see who won the giveaway for a big candle this week. Ready? On your mark. Get one. Two. <laughs> red light. <laughs> Green light. <laughs> Go. Jamie, Jamie M won a candle this week. Damn, <laughs> Sarah was right under the Damn, Sarah, you was right there. You was right <laughs> there, Sarah. Next week is going to be your week. So shout out to Jamie M who about to get himself a nice free signature size candle. All right, so it's 7.15 a.m. And I just realized or found out that one of the packages, which is the wick holders, was sent to the wrong address. So I don't know where it is and we literally don't have any in the house right now. So I ordered a new pack that should come in tomorrow, which is like, come on now, man. seriously. I'm hoping when I go downstairs, the other packages are here and they just had a mistake on their end. Three packages in this one? Was delivered. It was here. We ready to go. Candle's about to be made today. So I'm going to get the cart. And I just realized that I locked my keys in the middle. It's a great morning. At least we have the wig clips. That's the most important thing. This is my face after that whole interaction. I might add this to my goals of the new year. Never argue with a woman. Just don't even argue with them. They don't be making sense. They just say whatever comes to their mind and they just go off of that. So as I'm downstairs getting a package, I'm trying to find out where they're at. They're cleaning the elevator and one of them is not working. I'm like, maybe I can just carry it myself. So I go downstairs to see what it is. I can't carry it myself. I need the cart. So I go back upstairs. On my way back upstairs, I realize I left my key in the mail room. Damn. So I'm like, fuck. So I go to get the cart and I ask the guy who's cleaning the elevator, like, hey, can you open the thing downstairs for me? He said, you gotta act the super. The elevator's not working really. So I put the elevator in the door. So I'm about to go ask him, like, Jermaine, how do I get access to the package room? He said, I can open, you know, he just, that's why I went to go ask him. As I'm walking towards the trying to just ask him, some lady comes and takes the cart out the elevator and tries to go upstairs. I'm like, yo, what's good with you? I'm like, I'm about to, I'm getting an elevator. I just walked from here. I didn't even get to Jermaine yet. That's how, I probably took three steps. She then came from somewhere, took the cart out the elevator and was like, now nah, I'm going upstairs. What you do? What's wrong with you? So then I did not know that my camera was still on. As I was vlogging. Why would you do that? Do what? Put the cart in and close the door. And he's gonna take a while. Like, why would you do that? That's crazy. No, you're crazy. <laughs> now we do whatever you do. Now you do it. Whatever. That's crazy. I don't even know why you do that. Whatever. Why would you do that? That's real interesting. I'm gonna ask him a question. Hey, do I need? You're gonna push the cart in and ask. And then come back, yes. That's crazy. How and you see that? all the elevators is not active? Yeah, you're, you're bugging. You're bugging. You're bugging. Come up, man. Don't mind her, she's crazy. No, you're crazy. Yeah, it's going up. Your hair look crazy. That's what's crazy. That's fine. Your face looks crazy. And so that's your mother's. Be sure it's Like, that's, why would you do that? You know what, you're right. I should argue with Why would you do that? I don't argue with her. That's fine. Do what you want.
That's real ignorant of you. Listen, I know that you that's are emotionally, project shit. You're emotionally insecure. That's no, I'm sure saying. not. You are. It's, it's okay. the grown man that would really do that. I understand. Like, I understand. No, no, you really don't. Because if you understood it, you wouldn't have did it. You know what? You are so attractive. You're so pretty. You have the length of your hair. You're looking good. You don't even see my hair. My hair is wrapped up. Right, and it looks nice under your Louis Vuitton wrap. Thank you. You're welcome. Stay flat, sweetheart. Me too. If it was nice, I would have been asked this. You were nice to ask me, hey, can I pull the door for you real quick? I hope a man helps you out today. I had no intention of going to deal with anybody. I'm like, I'm just gonna go get this package. <laughs> I'm gonna come back upstairs. That's gonna be the end of this. It's Wednesday. I just finished eating breakfast and I'm about to get started doing a whole bunch of candle shit. A lot of vessels came in the mail. We still got wax left over. So my game plan, because we do not have enough wax, honestly, for what we need. So I'm gonna make all the small candles first. Well, I'm gonna do inventory. I'm gonna see how much candles we have total left over from the last fair. I'm gonna subtract that from what Donovan has as the numbers that we need for, for Chelsea. And then I'm gonna make the candles. Says about to use the new heating lamp. Hmm? Are you gonna use both of them? It's gonna be our first time doubling up on the heating lamp. All right, it's time. Got wood. Got two. <laughs> <laughs> Our new candle studio. We got these big ass boxes that I'm excited to open up. And my favorite package of all is this one right here. So these are the removable labels right here. Put that over there. That's what I really wanted. We fancy. All right. Oh, this is a perfect day too. They don't. They don't even know how revolutionary this is. <laughs> we. I literally write on this all across. I write every single one, and then I cut them and put them on every single candle. I did that one time, and I said, this <laughs> is "Ridiculous." I'm like, I cut. I wrote it. I cut it. I wrote it. I cut it again, and I said, "Nope." There we go. Room service. Y'all know how much I love meetings. I have a meeting in six minutes about someone, uh, uh, about a potential collab. They want to utilize our candles. So that word utilize is interesting. <laughs> Um, right now, the only thing that I could do is I can give them a pack of the sample cards that would have each cent, and it would be four dollars per pack. And I can do uh, the wholesale price for the for the gift size candles, which is ten dollars per candle. That's the best that I can do. Aside from that, our inventory is too too precious to just be given away. They also wanted a discount code from like ten to fifteen percent. I can give them I can give them maybe a twenty percent discount code. We definitely need another table in this house, like something. Like like this one be after this craft fair i'll buy one because this table i'm on right now is too small and we have way too many candles that we need to that sounds so cool to say we have way too many candles to make to put on this small amount of surface area my plan for today is to prep as many candles as possible so that means top labels that means warning labels that means qr codes that means stickers which is wick stickers that means wicks and wick holders and we have a thousand of these came in i'm still waiting for avery to come in with the labels but i I think the most important thing before that is definitely the wick holders and the wick stickers because without that, Melissa can't even make the candles. So that might have been one of the shortest phone calls ever. 
okay got on the phone how you doing all that stuff she said do you have any questions for me and i was like yeah you know i wanted to ask you about pricing and she was like oh you know well normally what we do is like it's a donation based thing with other people that we you know we worked with because you know he has the ability to sell a lot you know like we working with another shop that's you know donating and all that stuff i'm like mm, that sounds great i don't know if i have enough inventory i don't think i have enough inventory to give full-size candles you know i'm open to doing the scent cards with the discount then that's when there was another candle brand that it was considering so you know she's gonna talk to him about whether he wants to do the cards or the the, the candles with the other brand <laughs> I was just telling Donovan that I just got the video down to three hours and I found more footage. So now it's back up to five. It started at five. So that means it really started at seven. art show bought a big one loved it so much and immediately bought another one in a different scent and now i want another one <laughs> in all caps they are the only candles to actually fill up a room and are so good that i smell it for a while even after blowing them out amazing marketing too the team is great at packaging and promoting the candles i'm obsessed really you know what's crazy yeah, i was scared because i thought Ha, huh, with pages, that's a package. She got a wig trimmer too. Yeah, she's in the picture. Ah! <laughs> I was so scared because the damn box didn't fit properly. The post office was about to close. There was just so much things. I was so afraid. I'm like, please don't let this break in the mail, please. So I'm so happy. I didn't check what it was. What it, what is that face? Go on square. Go on square. Yeah. Put a notification. Wait, hold on, it's loading. Someone bought it. Someone bought something? From the website? Yes. That's crazy. I didn't know what it was. Well, but I heard this sound. I'm gonna check it right after I watch this. I make this this video. I saw it. I saw it. What looked like the square logo. I'm like, why was square be coming up? Listen, it's the perfect time because I'm about to take this other package out. That shit about to be shipped out right now. Bruh, you wanna know what's crazy? So, I don't know if what I just changed is why we got this order. One thing I just changed on here: add to cart. Before on the website, we have options for pickup local delivery shipping and self-order so i was looking at google analytics i kept saying like mad add the carts on there and i'm like but we're not getting no orders so i'm like why is it not getting the orders so what i went i did was i removed the option to do a local pickup because i think when you're on square if you don't live close by it'll say you can't buy this product unless you switch it unless you click oh i want to do shipping and not local pickup so i changed it and i'm wondering if that is why we got an order because that's it was like it was like eight or nine at the carts and i'm like ain't nobody buy a candle when you, when you change it? today like like an hour maybe before i'm on the phone with nephew i'm i'm in shock this is our first order from and it is literally february 1st what does that mean uh -oh. so we just got an email i got i got scared because i'm like i don't know if that's good Hi, Melissa. Thank you so much for the order confirmation. I met your artist in Fleas in Williamsburg a couple weekends ago and absolutely loved my wind down candle. I bought this one to be shipped to my mom for her birthday and I know she will love it too. If possible, would you mind not including the receipt with the price on it in the package since it's a gift? Thank you so much. That's her? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's crazy. You might have to put that as an option. What? Like, no, like, like a gift option so I know not to put the receipt. Do you put receipt? I don't. Right, I'm like, I didn't know you do that. <laughs> I, don't like the, I don't like the fact that she had to email me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we what are we doing? What's happening? So this is, a, this is a crazy day, by the way. Open the first email. Open the first email. That says artist of please? Yes. Okay. Oh wow. Oh the ocean is gonna be there. Okay. So, so this is 
Wait, hold on. Can I see that's me and Melissa right there for Ember <laughs> Candle Co. Support black owned businesses for February. All right, y'all. Heading to the post office to drop off the giveaway package and the winner's package. No, the winner's package and the order. So Melissa would to take the packages to the post office. I'm wondering if I can see her out the window this time, but I don't see her right now. But we finally got an email back from Vivi. So I don't know if she saw it yet. I'm gonna tell her when she comes in the house. I was gonna call her, I thought it was something else, but when she comes back in the house, I'll, I'll show her the email. This has been like a crazy last hour or so. Like this hour and a half has been insane. Oh, I just got an email from Vivi. They said they want to do it. They have more questions and they want to do a Zoom call. So I told them that Friday at 10, 10 30 a.m. works for me. And we'll see what happens. So, uh, you took an email? I did. What'd you see? I responded to her already. <laughs> <laughs> what time you gave her? I told 10 30. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we can schedule it for 2 p.m. and be like, okay. And I don't hear from her for another three weeks. First video just hit 500 views. This is what? This Wednesday, February 1st at 5 14 p.m. Just hit 509 views. And right now we have 73 subscribers on the YouTube channel. And I don't think y'all know how crazy this is. It took us, what, two years? It took us two years to like get monetized on our first channel so for this to be moving at the speed that is moving at is really mind-boggling okay so we are at michael shout out to my sister and her boyfriend they took us here because as you know our car got repossessed so we are looking for some vases because the one that melissa had got from before from like instacart she didn't like do we have any one she likes i feel like i don't see <laughs> the one that you like good morning it is Fe february 2nd I'm about to head to the bank because the same with the last vlog. We spend a lot of money on inventory and candle stuff and I try to keep it a full cycle so we don't have a lot of money in the account. But we always end up having money in cash, which I'm always surprised about. Since we did not find the vases yesterday, Melissa was able to find the one that she wants, the exact ones. They had them on, I think she said Home Goods, and she said they also might have them at Walmart. I, I, Up and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hiding on the pan, don't stop. She ain't gonna feed you. So a couple of things. Made like a hundred candles last night. Unfortunately, after I made the candles, while it was still in its liquid form, one of my children slammed into the table and spilled the wax all over the table. So these, I don't know if you can see it, but the candles are over here all have wax on the bottom some have more than others so and you can see a little bit of wax on the table what else happened so i really liked from last month no because i know how this looks when i edit <laughs> i feel like <laughs> I, I would be annoyed while i'm editing I'm like why is why is the camera going like this <laughs> one thing that i liked about last month is having the excel sheet that had like the exact every day what i'm supposed to be doing i used to like check it and be like okay today is month today is thursday i'm doing this so we don't have that i kind of know what needs to get done i don't really have a schedule for when to do it i decided i was going to edit real quick and then i thought about it i'm like let's check on that liability insurance business insurance because we need that in order to secure our monthly uh, membership at Artists and Fleas. I tried to go through their suggested insurance policy and their suggested insurance policy doesn't cover candles. I went to the next best thing, which is Facebook groups. Oh my God. If you have a candle business and you have any question, what is your industry code? What needs to be on your labels? What's required for the industry? Like, if you have any questions how to make candles, the business groups are so, so priceless. And I don't mean writing in, writing a post in the group. I mean searching previous posts. It's so invaluable. It's just amazing. So I typed in candle business insurance in New York 
because you know different businesses different insurances don't run in each state they suggested a company called next i don't know if they were connecting me to another place or if they specifically handle the candles in tandem with them but that happened so i also um, found this place called policy suite i filled out their quote it's supposed to give me one instantly and they're like yeah you know you have to give us a call so i get them a call i'm on the phone with them they want to send us out to another eight people i think the issue that we're having is that i told them that we were going to make five hundred thousand for the year mm -hmm. i think they might think that that is too much to insure i think i'm going to maybe call them back and change that number to see if that allows them to give us the insurance i was on the phone with this man about the damn insurance and the phone got disconnected and i don't think he's gonna call back I'm already like up to here with this insurance shit. Yeah, commercial general liability insurance. It comes up to $105 a month. So right now, Melissa cleaning the bathroom. I doing pretty well on my list. I recommend everybody to use the reminder app on your phone to be able to have a to do list. One thing I really like, which I will be saying over and over and over again from this app, is that once you check something off, it disappears from your screen. So because it disappears from the screen, two things happen, I realized. One, I don't have the thought of, oh, I did so much today, I don't have to do any more because I did 10 things. These last two things are not that important. Also, when I go back to the list, I look at it and go, oh, I only have one more thing to do today? Ah, uh, I could do that right now. As opposed to when I go back to the list, I'm, I just see mad stuff on there. So I really like the fact that when I go back, like right now, I think I have two things left to do today. I had, I might start off with seven or eight things. It's already, it's, it's only 10, it's 10, 15. And I've already done most of my things on my list. And the most exciting part here is actually insights. And you the full channel copy referrals pipe. And you can identify this immediately. And this is done with the help of machine. Sharing with this video, but then I just, I don't know, she said, you know, I don't feel editing something like that right now. Yeah, like I've been posting a lot of reels. You ever start doing something and then in the middle of doing that thing, you have like three other things about that same thing pop up? Well, that's what I was dealing with. My goal was just to make an email with the loyalty program, but then it's not active. So I have to also make a card because you can't actually sign up for the loyalty program through Square unless you do it during your checkout. The workaround is that they will buy the card, hopefully, and then check out with the card. But I was going to make it free. They don't allow you to have free products on the website. That's kind of annoying. All of that. And I didn't even send an email out. This is the loyalty card right here. I don't like the sizing of it, but, you know, it kind of is what it is. I got to here because originally I was designing this. While I was designing this, I had to figure out, damn, what should the math be for all the points? I was over here trying to figure out the math for this. I was in chat GPT trying to figure out the math. So this is kind of what we came up with for the math. The stuff came in today, the wig stickers. So I'm gonna go get that, start prepping the candles. Melissa is, seems to be doing some prep work. I've been all on my ground, so why I need you? Baby girl love my vibe and I like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you. I've been all on my ground, so why I need you? Big flex, my swollen. This should be fun. Bells that I bought. Niggas hating like hold up. What's the problem? I'm pulled up. Big flex, my swole up. Hard body, they fold up. Shorty say I done glowed up. Double text on my phone up. Fuck with your boy, I'm the man of the year. I'm not a fan of your peers. Serve him with fate on my hand, I'm the shears. He not the man of your peers. Good morning. It is 8.30 right now. Melissa made all of these candles. And all of these candles. And all of these candles last night. So right now I'm going to put the rest of the labels on the tins and then head out to take the bubble wrap away. So I'm on this website right now and I want to buy these. They're very expensive, but you can get 1200 labels per hour 
And this would be for the big candles. If you don't sell that many, I don't, for us to make 1,200 big candles, that's like the whole year worth of candles. But I want to find something for the small tins to be able to label it. But this is this. I'm gonna get this. It's then I'm gonna get. I don't know where, but I'm gonna get this. So you know, we we're trying to bring your your request uh, forward. Um, and sorry again, just if you could, if you could, for for my sake, because I haven't spoken to you before, you could just tell me your story a little bit and um, and let me know, uh, and and then we'll take it from there. When it comes to these fairs, once they get booked out. Sometimes they're booked out for like an entire month and we won't be able to do it or like, or not having enough inventory. Um, one of our suppliers is in California, so it takes a while for the product to get here. Or, but the fact that you're delinquent on some of your current debts mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I see, I need to give them a really good answer as to why you're delinquent on your current debts and why, you know, they should have good faith that even though you're delinquent with lender A, we'll, you know, we'll, our loan will get paid back. Like, what's the, what's the tell? What I decided to do was break this up into multiple smaller ones. So we got two over here, one up here, over here. So that's five, one, two, three, that's four. I have two more to break up. And then I'm gonna take the last three over to my cousin's house. I'm about to leave. I feel like a businessman because I, I'm taking the Metro North all the way there. I will not have to be getting on the subway. I got my businessman backpack and I am ready to go. Shout out to the new connection from the Metro North to the LRRR. It took them hundreds of years to make it. Now I know why Vanderbilt was a quadrillionaire. Yeah, so it seems to be stuck. I thought I'll get through here in the bag, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah. Need help. I feel like this elevator is taking mad long. I would hate to miss this train or have to run for the train. It's been at least four minutes. That's mad long for elevator time. All right, so I made it to the train. A couple minutes to spare. This is the bubble wrap. It takes up the whole space. But I'm free to sit down and relax. I'm not gonna lie. I felt like I was in an episode of Up. I forgot that the wind started blowing. That's gonna start blowing. So I should, it's flying in the air. I grabbed it with two hands. I'm like, damn. I look like it's making Santa Claus. All right, so I'm about to start studying my Google Analytics. My first time at this stop. I'm very curious what it's going to look like. He said, my track is way down here. He says a far walk too, god damn. Okay, so I found it. This shit is far as hell, bro. I think I got like four minutes before the train leave. I'm definitely gonna miss my train. Like, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. All right, I just got off the train with my bubble wrap and they're doing construction so the stairs are very narrow i have not checked if i can fit yet but i hope there are no problems getting these up the stairs all right and i'm stuck <laughs> i am stuck all right so i'm waiting inside mcdonald's but it's brick and it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. I'm really hoping that it's not affect the sales too much. Like it's cold, but it's not cold, cold. People will stop outside, but not for too long. All right, so we got all three in here. Let's see if it closes. Oh, it seems to be closed. It's real life, no animation. All right, so mission success. The bubble wrap has been delivered and dropped off. See, why is that same one? Drink is just I think it's Jamaican. I think that flavor is a Jamaican flavor. Orange peach mango. <laughs> yes. She buys it and it's mad thick. She buys it all the time. I was feeling real nostalgic. Had to come by the old deli I used to come to all the time. Back in the day, got me a little BLT. I should have went with the bacon, egg, and cheese, but you know. Have been over here in a long time. All right, y'all. It's almost six o'clock. 
I just finished melting all the tops of the small candles. I made six big candles. I don't think I showed that on the camera. And then I have to edit. All right, so my sister just dropped me off at the train. I'm supposed to be here in like three or four minutes and I'm hoping it's not late because it's super cold out here. Like I should be able to see it when I go down to the bottom. I don't fucking see it. I see it. I think I see it. Oh, I think I see it. Okay, I'm not gonna freeze to death. God, how do people live out here in this cold weather? Oh my God, this is crazy. I am not dressed for this at all. I'm on the train. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm back at Grand Central and I have 10 minutes to get all the way across this place to LIRR. Okay, I found it. Long Island Railroad. home jesus christ melissa <laughs> i'm just gonna take these inside <laughs> yeah <laughs> what I, is wasn't, I wasn't taking it inside <laughs> all right it is late is it yeah, it's late enough to be late. And we just signed up for QuickBooks. So we're trying to figure that out. <laughs> Shout out to Bill and Rue, Sarah Rue, for helping me with the, the expenses with the damn TurboTax. Because it, for whatever reason, when I was doing it at first, it, it said nothing about expenses, like at all. So it's funny, I went back to it and literally it was like, hey, hey, expenses. I'm like. Good morning, today is Saturday. The fourth is the first day out of the nine that we're doing in a row. We have these candles going right now, melts in the tops, and this is what everything is looking like. Just stuff everywhere, so I'm gonna try and put some stuff away. Okay, hey y'all. We're just now leaving the house. It's supposed to be super cold out today. Down here. Okay. It's we're outside and it's cold, like a cold. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, yeah. I'm a ru, yeah. Turn up for the night. the night. Real thing, she's no average girl. Too fine, oh, she might. So yeah, damn fine. I just wanna call on you. Call Money on just you. fall on you. Not a thing I would. Jermaine should be at Artisan Fleas by now. I text him and ask him to set up, so that's good. Hopefully, it's already. By the time I get there, all I gotta do is bring the candles. Melissa is going to get Dunkin' Donuts and going to get change. So Donovan's waiting for the elevator. I decided to go ahead to go to Dunkin' Donuts and I also have to go to UPS, the UPS store. I'm starving and it's really, really cold. Honestly, the UPS run too easy. So like I just returned 28 bells. Don't even ask why there was 28 bells to return, but just returned them. Now I'm heading to the Artisan Fleece. Doesn't matter where we go and destination or no. I don't care where the motor stops. Cause when I want to chill, I want to go. Look around, where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life. Hit me with it right now, in it. Cause when I want it, then I want it. Yeah, I want it. Oh, I want it. Let's go. And I won't look back, yeah. I don't care about the bad shit. Back home. So now you can ring. Okay. Now you can ring. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, Melissa's brother is about to go ask a girl out who has a husband. And I'm trying, I, well, I think he has, she has a husband. Because I heard her call him husband or babe or hubby or something like that. So we're going to see when she goes over there, when he goes over there. I could be wrong. He might bag her up and I could be completely wrong. And that'll be a learning lesson for him to always chase your dreams. Okay, what happened? All right, so it turns out it is her brother. Oh, okay. So, so what does that mean? That is her brother. Okay, that's but good. I felt like I was in the <laughs> Okay, that's a good sign. So, see, I was wrong. I thought that was her man, but it's her brother. No, no, no. I was like, how you thought that was her man? Bro, because I went over there. Bro, I went over there and I said, can I get a picture with you guys? She said, babe, come over here. And I was like, oh, okay. That's what I said. I'm like, all right, I guess they did. So she edited the video <laughs> where I went to get the boxes <laughs> from the package room. <laughs> and this is why I was asking her. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in the package. <laughs> we are still here at the market. It closes in like 20 minutes. The cool things about today is that it's really fucking cold. It's like, what would you say? Negative 10 degrees, it feels like. Foot traffic being slow is like an understatement. Like, it's dead completely. 22 degrees. If y'all don't know, 30 degrees is Fahrenheit. Hold on. If y'all look real close, it's here. Real feels 12. Freezing is 30 degrees. So right now it is 8 degrees below freezing. Whatever people are outside that came in, we sold too. I think that it's going to be crazy busy during the week because it was so cold this weekend that people are going to feel like, okay, it's warm enough to go back outside now. And I think they're going to do that when we're at the market itself. We bought this these dates in like November. So we specifically chose the week of Valentine's Day because of our product. It's candles. So there's going to be a lot of couples. There's a lot of people that's going to do some cute things after work or whatever leading up to Valentine's Day. And they, they going to be buying candles from us. All right, the day is over. We are packing up. I am freezing. As soon as it's 6 o'clock, turn the heat off. So me and everybody else standing up here. Because it's, it's freezing cold. So we're all standing in the staircase trying to get warm. Because this is one of the coldest stations I've been at my entire life. Alright, so we are finally at the house. It is so cold out here. I don't know if the doorman is here or not. Oh, he is. Okay, so that's good. Shout out to Stacy. She just bought herself a candle. Thank you, Stacy. Hey, y'all. It's 11.45. Um, I'm up editing. The video is down to 59 minutes. And I'm just, like, putting in the finishing touches, the music, and kind of making those for me to do, for me to add little things tomorrow. Donovan is sleeping already. I'm hoping that tomorrow was a better day than today was because it's going to be warmer. All right. It is probably 8.15 to 8.30ish. Melissa's making samples and she said that we need people watching. So it should have been delivered on the 2nd, which would have been like two days ago or three days ago. But I don't have that email connected to shop, so I didn't see it. So I'm hoping when I go down there, it's there. It's 8.40 and I just finished making some like last minute samples. So I made more than these, but this is what I have left to bag up. Okay, so Melissa and I are trying something different where I will leave when I'm ready, she will leave when she's ready. And that way there's no friction about how we get there, who's waiting for who. No one has to be stressed out. So I'm gonna be trying a new route today it is the wheelchair accessible route and I want to see how it is. My beer looks very good today. Wow. And I'm trying that because I want to see if it's going to be an easier route when we have the cart with us. Just made it on the train. Had to run a little bit. Alright, it's 940 and I am just now leaving the house. So, you know, I might be the problem. I might be the problem in the morning. 
But it's a good thing that Donovan is going without me. Yay! So I just got off the train. I don't know how long that ride was. It's supposed to be like 20, 25 minutes. Pretty good. I'm gonna get right on the bus. I like this. I don't know if y'all remember in one of the old videos, we actually got off at this stop. It was the wrong stop. Now, it's the right stop for today. Let's see, let's see. I gotta catch the 32. I hope that's not my bus. That's the 69. So it's still like cold out here, but it's not like nearly as cold as it was yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, this is very calm. Like I would live in this area. I'm not sure where we're at. Maybe this is Long Island City. This is beautiful. Yeah, okay, look at my, look at my skin. Look at my skin. Oh, there is the bus. That was a pretty calm wait. This is definitely the best route for having the cart because it's the first stop on the train on the bus. I mean, so that means once we get we don't have to worry about trying to fight with anybody for a seat on the bus, and it literally drops you off a block away. So I just got here. Well, it's like 10:18. One of the vendors I ran into. So we're talking. It's a very amazing conversation. She has her own screen printing brand. She is from multiple places. I think she said she's Russian, Polish, German, and one other place. Uh, her family's been here since the, either the 80s, I think she said, or the 1800s. I'm not sure. Maybe probably the 80s, I feel like. Just a great conversation. I'm about to go Dunkin' Donuts, get some food, come back. Got my food, now I'm getting some money from the bank. Okay, just got out. The station is 10 to 33. I really had to scrape all my shillings together to get Starbucks this morning. So I had to give them like $2 cash and then put the rest on the card because I had a little money on um, this card that I showed my mom. So it's 12.30. So far we've done almost 10 sales. So that's pretty good. Right now we can't use the money on the card because there's a hold on it. Square. And I think it's funny because Bill was like, you're in control of, of what the holds are. So yeah. Yeah, we got another hold. <laughs> everybody, everybody holding on. What if I didn't want them? What if I didn't want y'all to hear me? Now we're here now. What are we, what, 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 what we talking about? <laughs> well, it was the coolest day ever in the history of mankind yesterday. It was. Right, it's that Square Magic, Miss Square Magic, we decided she would want to give us our money like right. the day before. Mm -hmm. And then we had the biggest argument that Bruh, we had almost broke up. Time. I was thinking about that last night or this morning. I was just kind of like, yeah. bruh, that's really, we had bruh, you know what's crazy? A month ago, I have, it, I have it in my grievances. So I was checking, I wrote it down, and it was literally probably almost 30 days, exactly to today. It was the last time I wrote something down in my grievances. And I was just kind of like, that's pretty good. Like it's been 30 days. Like we haven't had nothing I felt that mad about. I'm like, that's pretty good. So all of that combined with this, and I think that we have some new processes that we're working on for the table in terms of how we're selling, and it seems to be working really well. So I don't know what's gonna happen this week at Chelsea, guys. We have no idea. I also think they're about to drop a big loan on us. Oh, so they just they done they accused. That's what I think. I think they're like, all right, we're gonna give you a nice five plus we'll thousand see. dollar check we'll and it's like if that's the case vv i'm just telling you you don't have to you're gonna be last in line right. to uh to loan ember candle co money i'm exhausted right now melissa is editing the weekly vlog i just want to go home because we're about to have a very very long week and i have no idea what's in store for us a lot of the supplies we still need the money's held up in square so i'm hoping that something transpires tomorrow that's positive but tomorrow morning is going to be the crazier day only because we've never done chelsea before and that's going to be day one which is setting up bringing everything down there so y'all, I'm trying to edit right now and the market is like super busy. Like this is the busiest I've seen in a long time. I think it's because it was so cold yesterday, people are outside today. So that kind of like makes me excited for Chelsea. Y'all know when I get this close, it's some, bo it's some bullshit happening. That's what happens. So two things, all right? So earlier, there's a person, I guess he was not getting no sales. That's my guess for the day, right? Now here, here's another thing. Yes, we're getting sales, right? But I don't feel no type of way about nobody else. 
The only time I start feeling type of way is when they start moving real funny. So why this girl? Yeah, I like how you made that cut there. Like that was, uh, yeah, that's good. That's real good. Now why is she gonna come over here right when I'm talking? Right behind me on my side. This is our side of the damn thing. Why are you on this side? Anyways, people be acting real funny, okay? So as I was saying before, this other person earlier, I guess she's not having a good day, decides to come over next to our booth and hand out her business card. Mind you, she is all the way in the back of the store. She's in the back, or not even in the back. She's on the opposite side in the back. So I'm looking at her like, why she, she handed out mad aggressively like here here's a car here take, take the car i'm like god damn what's wrong with you and i was talking to Melissa about that i'm like isn't that crazy and i'm like you saw that she's like yeah i saw it so now as i'm broken to some people selling candles i look over and somebody else is stealing from us again i'm like yo now here's the crazy part this person literally came up to melissa and my mom like two weeks ago when we double book and they were like hey i noticed you're doing this thing why are you doing that hmm interesting why i just see this person doing the same thing that we was doing why they was doing that can somebody explain that to me because i don't understand and i feel like she was trying to hide it like oh i don't want them to see it like no i saw you i saw you so it's 6 10 we're breaking down for tonight i finally got the video to the point where all i have to do is add music and then it'll be done so i'm hoping that maybe like within 10 to 15 minutes of us getting home we can attempt to watch it um and then after that i have to set up for chelsea because that starts tomorrow Donovan wants to take a, a new route home, so I'm going to take the train. Just got off the bus. I'm not sure how long it was. It was like 20 stops. I got to get on the train now. I got to find the elevator. And now we wait for the train. So the E-Train was delayed and it seems like it is running now so it should be here in about three minutes. Alright, so I'm just now getting to the building. I have to pee. I'm hungry. I'm tired. And there's still a lot of things to do to prep for tomorrow. I just got off the train. It's probably like a little after eight maybe. Um, I'm not sure how long I waited at that stop of the train but maybe 30 minutes or so. This, the ride back seemed a lot longer, but there's a lot of hold up on the way back. So I've been home for like maybe half an hour, half an hour now. Donovan isn't here yet, so I'm considering FaceTiming him. Yeah, probably not. Finally home. Melissa's well, added in the finishing touches to the video. I'm eating my blueberry muffin. Then I'm gonna do inventory, update the spreadsheet, see what we have, see what we don't have, see what we need, and then call it a night. It's finished. It's fucking finished. Hey guys, so I want to start tomorrow fresh without having to do anything else. You ready to do the recap, babe? Yes, yeah, so we are getting ready for tomorrow, which will be our first day at Chelsea Artists and Fleas. Things have been going kind of crazy from the sense of our Square account got locked. Our Etsy account was locked. Uline didn't want to send us a package. PayPal locked our account a couple days before that. So normally this happens because we must do really well somewhere at a craft fair or gonna make a lot of money. Me and Melissa have been talking and it would be crazy if tomorrow or Wednesday or <laughs> by Wednesday we sell out of all the candles that we have. And even if we don't sell out, if we do 500 to $700 a day, that is crazy also. On Saturday, we had 19 sales. We sold 20 small candles and three big candles. And we made $420. On Sunday, which was today, we had 31 sales, 29 small candles, four big candles, and three wick trimmers. Three? Three. That's crazy. And we made $622 today. For the last weekend, we made $1,042 this weekend. I think this is the most we've made on a Sunday so far. 
this year. That's kind of crazy. I thought it was cool. We we haven't hit six um, on any Sunday yeah, so far. You could hit like eight hundred today, honestly. I, yeah, what? Easy. <laughs> That's crazy. We could have easily. It's just like tired. Right. Cafe tomorrow. I had to edit the video like before we go to bed. I'm gonna. I have to decide either to wake up early or to stay up maybe like an hour later and start packing things up. I haven't decided yet. So yeah. 